Our world of shed hunting seems to be getting more competitive with every passing year. With more people involved comes more opinions on what being a good shed hunter means, where the best places are to find the biggest sheds, and what to do with them once they're off the ground. What seems to be missing in the discussion is the burning question of, are we doing everything we can to make sure that there are still sheds on the ground for our kids to pick up? To answer this question, I've compiled some opinions and information from a range of trusty shed hunters to uncover what ethical shed hunting is, or even if it exists. With me is Colby Williams, a 22-year-old shed hunter who has been actively picking up bones for over five years. He's young, but he's a conservationist at heart. But before we dive into that conversation, I wanted to take the time to point out some of the rules that other states have regarding shed hunting, what Idaho's rules are, and what that can mean for the well-being of the animals. Antler collecting, the relatively mild conditions, may be enticing enough for those looking to get some outdoor exercise to get out on public lands and find a few sheds. But hang on to that thought for just a few more weeks. The 2022 shed season opens May 1st at 6 a.m., the annual closures are to protect wintering big game, especially during the early spring months when big game animals are at their most vulnerable. That's Wyoming. Nevada and North Dakota have similar rules regarding shed season. Idaho, as of now, has no rules or regulations. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is up for debate. There's some other states uh, surrounding Idaho, such as Wyoming and Nevada, that in certain parts of the state, they actually haven't implemented shed season. Um, is that something that you would like to see Idaho adopt, or what are your thoughts about a shed season? Well, I don't think that a shed season would do, um, do a lot for, for anybody. It really, I think that learning and educating people on how to properly shed hunt and properly take care of these animals um, during this time of year is more important than just implementing a policy or a, a rule for the year, for um, the, the season. I also spoke to Fish and Game about responsible ways to shed hunt. They direct me to their website where they outline critical guidelines in order to shed hunt responsibly. When I asked them about a shed hunting season, their response was similar to Colby's. They stated that implementing a season is not the top of their priority, but educating shed hunters on how to shed hunt responsibly is. Deer, elk, and moose depend on their fat reserves at this time of year. When they're constantly being pushed around, the results can be fatal. People affect wildlife during the winter in a variety of different ways, um, but one of the most common one is disturbance. Deer come into the winter with fat reserves that they gather during the spring and the fall up in the high elevations. When they migrate down, they have their fat reserves that they're living off of. It's really important for them to maintain that body fat because that's what they're living with and on during the whole winter. What happens if they start moving around or they get disturbed is that body fat, they use that energy and that energy and that fat reserve gets lost faster and faster. So they can't survive to the spring and we end up losing animals that way. On a normal winter, we see about 40% of our fawns not survive. In a really harsh winter, that number just goes up. There are many reasons that people are outside shed hunting these days. Whether it be a fun way to make some extra cash or to just get outside, the number of people participating seems to be going up and up. The general consensus from longtime shed hunters and those protecting our wild spaces is that the activity can lead to a lot of good if done responsibly. As amateur naturalists, we have a duty to remember that our actions don't come without consequences. If we want to be picking up antlers for years to come without law enforcement like other states have, it's best we recreate with respect.